Nehru's good and bad communal Muslims. Communal Muslims should not be set up on behalf of the Congress. There may be a rare case of a person who was earlier communal and now has more or less convinced you that he is not communal in this respect. You may, if you like, accept him. But the mere fact is that a person joining the Congress a month ago after a long career in communal politics does not entitle him to stand as the Congress candidate. I prefer communal-minded Muslims to stand as an independent candidate and we will not oppose him. These are the words of Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru to Assam's Chief Minister Bishnuram Medhi. Newly independent India's Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru maintained an anti-communal stance. The stance was only a front. However, if the electoral landscape necessitated it, Nehru had no qualms in joining forces with communal factions. Congress under Nehru's leadership gave tickets to those former Muslim League members who were prominent propagators of communal hatred and the two-nation theory. Congress gave a ticket to Nawab and Begum Ezaz Rasul, former Muslim League members. This despite a resolution being passed in December 1947 by the Uttar Pradesh Congress Committee which denied the members of the Muslim League the right to participate in Congress elections. The sheer size of the Muslim electorate made the Nehru-led Congress swing back and forth in convenience while issuing tickets. Other congressmen brought to Nehru's attention the Rasool's case, many of them seeing it as a betrayal of the cause. In 1952, Wahajat Ali, in charge of Muslim mass contacts in 1938-39 from Nusrat Manzil, Hardoi district, complained to Nehru. Nawab Esaz Razul was known to be a Muslim leaguer, yet he had been awarded a ticket, he pointed out. Another one wrote, The news that Shri Esaz Rasool and Begum Rasool are going to be given party tickets for the next election have shocked the congressmen of Sandila town. For eventful 10 years, from 1937 to 47, Shri Azaz Rasool and his Begum did all they could possibly do to propagate the doctrine of communal hatred and the two-nation theory. The literature that was issued at the last general election, not only in his constituency, made a case for Pakistan based on communal frenzy, but most abominably vilified our national leaders Mahatma Gandhi and Jawaharlal Nehru. They have changed almost five party labels. These are the words of D.N. Mishra, President of the Nagar Congress Committee of Sandila. Aside from championing Pakistan and the two-nation theory, Rasul applied a missionary zeal to denigrate Congress's ideals. A champion floor crosser, Rasul opposed zamindari abolition and switched sides no less than five times in five years. The district commissioner of Lucknow had charged him with misappropriating funds and every manner of financial irregularity and short credits. The Congress High Command picked Rasul despite being well aware of his unreliability. Perhaps the size and concentration of the Muslim electorate and political exigencies played a key role. On the front, Nehru was concerned with not fielding candidates with communal backgrounds in Congress, but if political exigencies demanded, he was willing to waive this requirement.